Okay, our final inductee, thank you, Becky, is Todd Worrell. And Todd played here from 1978 uh, through 1982, was a baseball player. And uh, before we're talking about Todd, I'd like to introduce his wife, Jamie. Uh, Jamie is seated here right next to him at this front table. <laughs> And, and Jamie's family is also here. Okay. Todd uh, was an all-district player his sophomore, his junior, and his senior years. Also, a little-known fact about Todd is that he played on the junior varsity basketball team his freshman year. And I suggest that this was the real foundation for his later pro career in baseball. <laughs> During his four-year career at Biola, Todd played almost every position, so he, he was a, a real athlete. Um, I think uh, Coach Sarver said he actually did play each position at one time or another. I especially remember him as a catcher for how hard he would, uh, when there was an attempted steal, he would throw the ball harder to second base than the pitcher had thrown to him, it seemed to me, <laughs> or it would get there faster. And... Um, but what, uh, when I was talking to Rich Kundle, who uh, wrote the letter to Wade, we were, we were talking about Todd and, and watching those games. And this was, of course, long before his pro career in baseball. But what Rich remembered was how he would hustle. He'd come out of that catcher's stance. He'd explode out of that catcher's stance. And he was a big 6'5 guy and, and sprint to catch the foul pop up or Whatever position he's played, he had a little bit of that Pete Rose in him. And, and, um, but he was just uh, an athlete. He had uh, what, what coaches often say, describe as a motor. He, he had that. He had that energy when he played. And, of course, the coach loves that mentality. Whatever sport you're coaching, you love to have a guy that plays with that kind of intensity. He became a pitcher his senior year and posted a winning record with a strong earned run average but it was just an inkling of what was to come. Uh, Todd was uh, really a late bloomer, although he was, was very good here. He was all district three years. I don't think anyone, possibly with the exception maybe of him, and I, I'm, not, I'm not sure what he would say about that, uh, foresaw what was coming. Because of his strong arm and potential, he was a first round pick in the 1982 Major League Draft. A few years later, he was selected as the National League, this was in 1986, the National League Rookie of the Year, and also that same year, the National League Rolades Relief Man of the Year. Now, to go from a small college to have that kind of early success at the highest level of sport and, and not be overwhelmed by that change is, is alongside his achievements, that in itself, I think, is, is really impressive. And, and I think it was because he was such a solid person even then. He, he had a nice combination of humility and confidence. You could see that even when he was a student here. He, he had fun, but he, he, he treated everybody well. His coaches and his teammates loved him. And I think everybody around here just really enjoyed him. But he, but he had the depth of character, and of course this was his Christian faith, but also how his parents raised him, that he could go into that setting from a small college setting and have that kind of great success, which I think is just a, a wonderful tribute to him. He had a 12-year career playing seven years for the St. Louis Cardinals and five years for the Dodgers. He had a career record of 50 and 52 and earned All-Star honors three different years. Major League All-Star, three years. He played in the 1985 and 1987 World Series and actually in, in the, I think it was the 85 series, Todd, where he struck out six consecutive batters. I, I don't know if you saw that on television. How many, how many of you saw that? But that, that was, uh, <laughs> I, 
I remember watching that on television and, and how, how exciting that was. You know, he, he got two, oh, pretty good, two in a row, and then three, and, and it kept going. And we were talking yesterday, and, and uh, if a couple things had played out right, he would have actually struck out seven or, uh, and broke the record. But I think he tied a record. Uh, two other people have done that. Um, but imagine striking out six of the best hitters in the world in succession in a World Series, uh, just three years out of, of college. Um, he was the first relief pitcher in Major League history to save 30 or more games in each of his first three seasons. So that included his rookie season and, of course, the second and third year. He was the first pitcher in the history of the Major Leagues to do that. Todd currently ranks 30th on the all-time saves list with 256. Um, the focus and the work ethic required to, to become that good, obviously he had an arm. He could throw 96, 97, 98 miles an hour, but uh, there are a lot of guys that could throw hard, a lot of guys that uh, have had great ability in different sports but never were able to bring it to fruition the way he did and uh, make it at the highest level. And then not only did Todd make it to the highest level of American professional sports and be a great player there, be a three-time All-Star, the only other Biola grad to reach that level was his younger brother, Tim, <laughs> who also enjoyed a 12-year career. And since older brothers always take credit for having coached their younger brother, <laughs> And I got a late, and, a late, real late start in life on this, but I've got uh, two kids, so I, I watch the uh, dynamics there. And, and the, the four-year-old takes credit for anything the two-year-old does already. <laughs> and so that really means that Todd was not only a great player, but really a good coach. Because, uh, and I'm about to read uh, a letter from, from Tim. Uh, Tim. Uh, couldn't make it tonight. He's uh, coaching with the Padres organization. He's been gone a few months and, and really wanted to be here. I just had a real nice conversation with him the other day. But uh, we, we talked about Todd, some of the things he says in the letter, but he, he's also conveyed verbally a number of other things that are not in this letter, just in terms of his respect for his older brother and the influence that, that he had on him. But let me... Uh, let me, go, let me go to his letter. Todd, congratulations on not only being inducted into Biola's Hall of Fame, but being one of the first in its inaugural year. Not only are you deserving for what you were able to accomplish on the baseball field, both at Biola and in your professional career, but more importantly, for who you are off the field. Always using your platform that God provided you as a player and now as the president of FCA in Missouri to spread his message of love throughout the sports world. You have always been an example for me to follow, both athletically and spiritually. After following you to Maranatha High School, then on to Biola and into the major leagues, I think the times I enjoyed the most were the years we got to play against each other in Southern California especially in 1995 and 1996 when each of our teams won the National League West. Of course, 96 was the best because we swept the Dodgers to do it. <laughs> and I got two of the wins in the final series, but who's counting anyway? <laughs> Actually, those years were special more because I finally got to be a peer with my big brother. It was a privilege and something that I will always cherish. Congratulations again on a well-deserved honor. Okay. And then Charlie Sarver, who was introduced uh, earlier. Uh, Charlie spoke on the phone the other day, uh, related this to me. Todd was such a fine athlete that during his four-year career, he played every position for us. And he played each position better than anyone else on the team could. It's pretty good. 
He had never been a catcher before, but his first time behind the plate, he threw out the best college baseball stealer in Southern California. And just imagine this guy, I, I don't know who it was, but uh, imagine he's at first base and he's been stealing bases without any problem. And all of a sudden this guy who eventually throws 98 miles an hour in the big leagues guns him out by about 10 feet. I was just trying to envision that. So, um, in another game, he picked runners off first and third in the same inning. He had all the tools that make for a great player. He could run, hit, and throw, and was even an excellent bunter. He was also a great leader who was an inspiration to everyone on the team. He was so positive and always looked to help his teammates. And most important of all, his love for God was so obvious. I have nothing but great memories of Todd and feel so thankful to have coached him, Charlie Sarver.